Hey everybody, welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackherd, and today we're going to learn how to uh, control an adjustment layer so that it only affects the layer that you want it to. And so it doesn't affect like all the layers below it, just the one that you make it affect. So what I've did in here is, oh, I have this in here, I don't want that there. I was just messing around with that. So what I did is I placed a moon into the scene. And what I'm gonna, what I wanted to do was add this hue and saturation only to the moon. But right now it's uh, affecting the uh, background layer also. So if I turn it off, you can see that it's affecting the uh, background layer as well as the moon. Now all you need to do to fix this is a really simple trick. Um, you're just gonna create a clipping group, is what it's called. So hold down Alt on your keyboard or Option if you have a Mac and uh, go over top of this uh, line that separates these two and it'll change into a square with a down arrow pointed. Now if I click on the uh, line when the uh, cursor is changed like this, it's going to add a clipping group. And now you can see that the background is not affected, only the moon is. You can you know that you're into a clipping group if it has this little uh, down arrow right here to the left of the icon in your layers in your layers panel so if I go to try to adjust my hue and saturation and just check out the moon right here you can see that I can change it to whatever I want now and it's not affecting the background which is good so we fixed that problem so I mean that's all that's really to it it's easy but it's very helpful so let's just go over it again. Um, the way to get it, this out of being in a clipping group is just to hold Alt again. Let me click on this. Hold Alt again, and you can see that the uh, the cursor now has a, a a line through the arrow. That means you're taking it away. So I click on it, and now everything is back to or the uh, adjustment layer is back to affecting everything. So remember, just hold Alt or Option, click on the line and it'll only affect the layer directly below it and no other layers. Very, very helpful for um, adding uh, adjustment layers to items that you don't want to have affected by, um, that you only want to have affected by that adjustment layer. So, I mean, that's really all you need to know for uh, this tutorial. And you may be thinking to yourself, why'd you upload a three minute tutorial? Well, um, what I've been doing with all these tutorials is trying to keep them short so when people search on YouTube for a specific item they don't have to sit through a whole lecture about all these different things like um, when I'm searching through and uh, I want to just figure out how to create a clipping mask real quick or a clipping group or something like that I don't want to have to sit through and like search through what all these people are trying to uh, tell me about all this stuff that I already know. I just want to figure out that one thing. So that's what I'm trying to do with these tutorials by keeping them short and uh, um, just going over like specific items in the tutorials. And hopefully you guys like that. Um, if you don't really, then just let me know in the comments. Or if you do, then let me know in the comments too. So um, I listen to your guys' feedback. It's uh, always helpful. So thanks a lot, guys. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. It's going to be awesome. See you later.